Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright's Old Destinies. We're here. Okay, so, man, we met some folks in the last one. I still can't wait to see, like, what happens and how they flush out. But for now, we have to go back to the detention center and ask Damien some questions. And now Athena's with us, too. So maybe she can get, like, a look and see, like, if she can find anything that we might have missed. Something wrong, Apollo? Where'd your enthusiasm go? What am I doing asking the mayor if he has ever thought about releasing Tamataro? Listen, what else do we have to go on? I don't think we have much else. At best, he'll think I'm an idiot. At worst, ugh. Oh, he's here. What up? How you doing, boy? Oh, looking so, uh, happy, as always. It's so nice to finally meet you. I'm Mr. Justice's partner, Athena Sykes. I'm looking forward to working with you, Mr. Tenma. Taro? Huh? Uh, oh, oh, yes. I, I look forward to working with you, too. Ugh. Glad he didn't mind Athena calling him by a completely wrong name. Oops. It's totally... Fine. Maybe. Maybe. Athena? Oh, God. We should have briefed her before we started. Apollo, he's just as kind and gentle looking as I imagined. Lucky for you, after that blunder you just made. Well, listen, it's not like we briefed I mean, she should have read the paper, though. Um, there was something I wanted to talk to you about. There are rumors going around about how you want to, or did, set Tamataro free. What utter nonsense! Ah! They always assume the worst of me because of the way I look. But those rumors don't have a shred of truth, I tell you! A little touchy about his appearance, isn't he? What he really needs to work on are his people skills. Listen, we all kind of do, don't we? I think a little. Alright, you're alright there, sir. Alright, so... Let's see what we can talk about. Tenma Taro's revival. Tell me a little bit about this. Um, so rumor has it that you want to push the merger through. In order to release Tenma Taro. Uh, of course, that's a bunch of baloney, isn't it? <sighs> Ugh, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. I'm sorry if I offended you. So, that's the talk around town, is it? I can see how that would make you angry. What if Jinxie's schoolmates start teasing her about this? Huh? I must break out of here at once. Her tormentors must be taught a lesson. Wait, nothing's happened yet. Oh my god, but he really does think of her a lot, doesn't he? That's so sweet. No, wait first, we have to get you a not guilty verdict. Don't try and stop me. This is about a father's duty to his darling daughter. Hold tight, sweet Jinxie. Daddy's coming to save you. Relax. We'll look out for your daughter until we can get you free. Hmm. Is that so? You don't need me to go straighten things out myself? Uh, I think that would be extraordinarily bad. Oh, boy. They'd probably call on the SWAT team if he showed up at her school. Oh, right. I ought to ask about the reason behind the merger. Oh, yeah, I don't think we asked about that before. Why the merger? Tell me about that. It seems you were rather forceful in pushing for the municipal merger. Did you really want Nine Tailsville that badly? Yes, uh, well, it's quite an attractive prize in terms of tourism. Whoa! What was that? Wait. Am I feeling what I think I'm feeling? Wait, 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 wait. the bracelet? Are we gonna perceive something? Sure, I played a bit of hardball, but only when I deemed it necessary. I knew it. My bracelet's reacting- Oh my god, it's been like a hot age since I've done this. I thought Athena was gonna do it. What is it, Apollo? Mayor Tema may not be telling the whole truth. Really? How can you tell? People invariably tense up when they lie. That's where my bracelet here comes in. I can sense when the person I'm talking to is feeling tense. Because it begins to feel tight on my arm. No way! You can do that? Wait, so you believe me? Just like that? Sure. Each of us has our own special gifts. 
Oh man, she must be thrilled. Like those two are like two peas in a pod, right? Oh yeah, Athena has a gift too. Her special sense of hearing. Still, what do you think the mayor is lying about? I don't know, but it's our job to find out. God, what do you be, what do you, why you gotta lie to me now, sir? I'm trying to help you here. It's been a while since my bracelet last reacted like this. Let's see if I still remember how to do this. Oh, please teach me, because it really has been a while since we played Apollo Justice. First, I touch my bracelet. Right, now let's give it a whirl. All right, here it comes. Right, okay, so this is just like before, oh man. Right, the eyeball, it's a little scary and it's back, but that's okay. Ooh, and the music's back too. No freaking way, dudes. Yeah, I remember how Doctor Who this was. Holy shit. Uh, fourth season specifically, I think. Fourth, is it fourth? The one going through space? The intro, the wacky one? Yeah, yeah, in the 70s, right? Yes, I remember this feeling of intense concentration. The ability to see the smallest twitch, the slightest frown that no one else can see. Now Mayor Tenma was lying somewhere in that statement he just made. And when he lied, a certain habit made itself clear under his right eye. I didn't even see it! Oh no! I have to remember now that when we're playing Apollo, I have to look for that stuff. I just have to shift my viewpoint up and focus on that area. Okay. Oh, I see it! Yeah, look at that. So, okay, you really can't see it, though, down on the bottom in the sprite. So, I guess I don't feel that bad. <laughs> I thought, like, I missed something really <laughs> obvious. All right, I've got him now. His tick should appear when he's trying to pull the wool over my eyes. I've got to pour over every word he says and wait for his tick to appear. And when it does, I'll perceive it. And I can just press X for that. Yes, well... It's quite an attractive prize in terms of tourism. Attractive prize? Hmm. Oh, right here. Confirm. Gotcha! Yeah, yeah. I totally forgot that we might have to do this. Maybe we're gonna have to do this and Athena's thing? That's gonna be kinda cool. Mr. Mayor, please. You can trust us with the truth. The truth? I don't understand. When you mentioned tourism, the bottom of your right eye started twitching. What nonsense is this? So what if it did? Please, tell us more about your merger bid. What more is there to tell? Why were you really seeking to merge with Ninetales Vale? I already told you, tourism. The monster craze really revitalized the village, making it quite the prize. You really don't trust us, do you? What are you talking about? The village has been hot property ever since the monster craze started, has it not? I think you've yet to realize that what you're saying contradicts the facts. You say that the monster craze really revitalized Ninetales Vale, so... You felt it would be an attractive prize for its tourism, but that would contradict this. Oh shoot, wait, what? Contradict what? What do we have? That would contradict... Uh... God, we have so much stuff. Um... Oh! Wait this! A photo of the hero who sparked the monster craze and saved Ninetales Vale from becoming a ghost town. A ghost town, right? Take that! So this has got to be it right here. The monster craze in Ninetales Vale is a very recent phenomenon. It was sparked when the amazing Ninetales rose up against the municipal merger. The village was practically a ghost town before then. Uh so you see, you couldn't have possibly seen it as an attractive prize for its tourism. Oh, shit. What's the real reason behind your push to merge Tenma Town with Ninetales Vale, huh? Well, uh, 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 uh <laughs> I don't know. Oh, he's mad. Are you gonna tell us, though? Well, here we go. Why the merger? Yeah, yeah. Tell us the truth. It's all right. Are you ready to tell me the truth now? Honestly, I never wanted to pursue the merger in the first place. But 
I had no choice if I wanted to protect my darling little Jinxie. Protect her from what? I received a threat. Oh. It said either I go through with the merger or my Jinxie dies. Oh. Okay. What? How awful. Who would do such a thing? I don't know. But whoever blackmailed me must be connected to the murder. Wait, so you think the blackmailer and the killer could be one and the same? Alderman Kiyubi was immensely popular, so you have to ask, who would want him dead? The blackmailer who wanted the merger at all costs had all the motive in the world. Oh, I see. But why go from blackmail to murder? The merger protest won't disappear just because the alderman was killed. Uh, what could it be? What if there was another reason for the murder? Like what? Well, maybe the blackmailer discovered Alderman Kyuubi's secret identity. And his secret identity was a threat to the blackmailer's merger scheme. What do secret identities have to do with anything, Apollo? I have evidence revealing the alderman's secret identity. Maybe it's time to use it. Oh, wait, so we, so we are going with that as fact already? I thought that was just going to be like a, a theory for a while. Wait, we are going with that? Wait. Whoa, 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 So wait, okay, so do I just, oh, do I just present it then? Wait, so we're going with that? So what do we present then? The mask, I suppose. A mask found washed up by the riverside. There's white hair. So the white hair is what we're going with. Okay. Mayor Tenma, look at this mask. That's, that's the amazing Ninetales mask. What is the meaning of this? This mask was almost definitely at the crime scene. And there was some white hair inside. White hair, you say? It still seems too easy though, doesn't it? To, to pin this. I don't know, I'm not sure. Something feels wrong. There was one, one person with white hair in the manor that day. What are you saying? You know which man I'm talking about, right? Oh, here it comes. I'm talking about Rex Kyuubi, the amazing Ninetales himself. No way! The Alderman was impossible. Wait, come to think of it, Alderman Kyuubi was a former pro wrestler. That's why I think it's just too easy to pin this. I don't know, am I wrong? So the blackmailer turned killer when you discovered the alderman's secret identity? Uh, didn't I just say that? But yeah, the Amazing Ninetales was a threat to the blackmailer's scheme. He opposed the merger and as a result, single-handedly sparked the monster craze. Well, even so, what was the mask doing at the crime scene? There had been an event at the manor. And maybe Alderman QB had taken part in it, if you get my drift. I still feel like there's something wrong here. I don't, maybe it's just me. Maybe I worry too much. This is absurd. Mr. Mayor, do you have proof of the threat that was made against you? Yes, a blackmail letter, unfortunately. It disappeared after the murder. Oh, well, how convenient. Of course it did. I'd been carrying it around in my briefcase, but now it suddenly vanished. The blackmailer must have taken it with them after they killed the alderman. Well, at least we've clearly established the killer's motive. Mayor Tenma, visiting hours are over. It would appear this meeting is adjourned. All right, see you later. Polish those balls for me. Wait, what? Apollo, do you really think the Tenma Taro that Jinxie saw is the killer? I don't know. All I know is there's no such thing as monsters. Well, what about that newspaper article? Could the killer have purposely freed Tenma Taro to do their dirty work? Oh, come on. There wasn't any Tenma Taro to release in the first place. Well, yes, but the only suspects the police have right now are the mayor and a yokai. We'll probably be arguing whether there was a yokai involved in court tomorrow. Oh, I can't wait for that. I'm sure that's going to go fine with no issue. <laughs> oh, I can already see that look of disbelief on the judge's face. Oh, we love the judge's face, though. Apollo, are you all right? I'm fine, I'm fine. I'll, uh... I'll think of something. I'd better, because I can't very well say a flying demon was the killer. Listen! I think we've had worse. But the 
this point. The only thing I know for sure is tomorrow's gonna be one doozy of a trial. Oh shit, is it gonna fade to that now? Oops. Well, no, we, uh, well, now nah, that's gonna happen. We'll go into it because like I said, the, it's too early to stop now. Maybe at least we can shave off some of the beginning of it and see like what happens with it. No, 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 guys, no, 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 no. You never save in an active LP. You just don't. Okay, well, it's the next day. <laughs> what could go wrong? I don't know. It could, oh, sorry. I think I wanted to make sure that like my, my thing wasn't in front of that, but I don't think it is. Um, We're fine. First of all, we haven't even met the, I mean, they talked about the prosecutor. We haven't met them yet. I'm assuming it's gonna be the same judge. We'll see what else comes up while we're here. You okay, Athena? You've been really antsy ever since we got here. Uh, I'm just excited. This is my first real court case after all. Oh, right, because, you know, we've gone b back to when Athena, the, the very first time she probably stepped in court. Yeah, a real ball of excitement she is. I know just what she needs. Athena! Huh? Didn't you ever learn about indoor and outdoor voices? I'm just trying to show you the best way to relieve your pre-child jitters. Well, what if she, like, poofed her pants or something? Jeez, you know, if you scare somebody, it's always a possibility. By scaring the daylights out of me? No, I find that shouting I'm fine in a loud voice really relieves stress. It's part of my cords of steel voice workout, and a must, before every trial. You, well, you want me to shout? Here? That's right. Here, I I'll go first. Then you try. This is fine, I'm sure. <laughs> Probably everybody here is used to it. I'm Apollo Justice and I'm fine! Damn, you sure are though, I saw you earlier. Alright, uh... I I'm Athena Sykes. And I'm fine! Uh, did it work? <laughs> uh, I think that actually worked. I thought it might help. Always works for me. An old friend of mine from junior high and I say it all the time. I see. A proven remedy to calm the soul. I like it. Hey, how about we finish off with a race around the courthouse? Wait, wait, no, no, I don't. I'm, wait a minute, I got my good clothes on. I don't want to get sweaty before a trial, please. The point is to relieve stress, not to get exhausted. <gasps> Phoenix, what's with all the racket, you two? Ah, oh, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Just a little voice workout. Hey, what's with the suit? Um, Apollo. We're in court? Oh, this? I was thinking about getting my attorney's badge back. That's all. Oh, I forgot. Of course, we're we're in we're back in time a little bit. This is probably when Phoenix was going back for that. Okay. I got you. That's all. That's huge news. I just I totally just didn't even realize right now that his sprite doesn't show the badge, so of course. But why now? I have a feeling I'll be needed in the courtroom again sometime soon. <laughs> You thought right. But we can talk about that another time. No fair. Inquiring minds want to know. It's none of our business. But wow. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Oh, this is my least favorite Phoenix, this one. I know a lot of people do like this one, but it's my least favorite. I'm so used to him in his usual laid back clothes. Oh, I suppose that's true. No, this is the real Phoenix to me right here. That suit makes him look like a million dollars. Really does. By the way, have you heard about the prosecutor assigned to this case? No, we've only heard a little bit. Yeah, he's serving time, but before that he was a prosecutor. He also used psychology? That's right. I've heard the rumors about how he was back before his conviction. Using the power of suggestion, he could make even the most stalwart defendants confess. Psychology in the courtroom. Been hearing a lot about that lately. Well, we have Athena on our side, though, so hopefully it'll be fine. So, he must be a pretty scary guy, considering he's a prison inmate at all. Listen, we've been up against Von Karma. He can't be scarier than that. So they say. They also say he'll cut you down if you talk too much. Oh, shit. Well, then we're in big trouble, because I like to press everything, so hopefully he's not going to yell at me for that. Oh, I knew he was going to be bad news. <laughs> it's probably just hyperbole, or at least I hope for your sake. Wait, so is it true or not? I don't think Phoenix knows. Th they're they're kind of 
staging this like Phoenix has never been up against him and he doesn't know him? Let's just say you should be concise and choose your words carefully. If you'd like to keep that head of yours uh, attached to the rest of your body, that is. Oh, great. Ugh, better tone down my cords of steel, too. So, are you all ready? It might be a good idea to check the court record again before stepping into the ring. I get this. I think. I hope. I don't know. I don't know anything about this prosecutor. I've got to, I got to suss him out and see what kind of voice we're going to give him and everything. I have no idea. Right, Mr. Wright, uh, but I'm fine. I'll be watching from the gallery. Good luck. Thanks. Uh, with Phoenix watching us, how can we go wrong? Okay, let's do this. The odds of pulling this off are ridiculously low, but that's nothing new. Believe in our client. Seek the truth. That's all we can do. Hang in there, Mayor Tenma. Here comes justice. Yeah, boy! All right, here we freaking go. We gonna get that cool little pan in for the, the courtroom again that we got before? See the judge's awesome face today? Guys, I'm excited. Yeah, buddy, there he is! Hooray! Yeah, I don't, I, dude, I like it. I'll never not like it. Hello, sir, man, judge, how the hell are you, sir? How is your beard today? Court is now in session for the trial of Damien Tenma. Apollo Justice, defense team leader, it's ready, your honor. Man, Apollo does look great, but I gotta say, looks better with the coat. But this is before the coat. I know that big booming voice anywhere. As chipper as ever, eh, Mr. Justice? But who is the young lady next to you? I'm Athena Sykes, Mr. Justice's junior partner and fresh out of law school. Well now, full of beans too, eh? Excellent, makes an old man feel young again. Ew, wait, is, is, is that weird? Am I the only one that thinks that's a little bit weird? All right, well, the judge is always a little bit weird with the ladies, all right, we know. Now for the prosecution. Oh, I can't wait for the, oh, hello? Hmm, it appears the prosecution is not ready yet. What the fuck? Wait, hello? Never fear, for I shall explain. It's just a minor procedural complication, your honor. Fulbright, how are you, babe? How's your glasses? The prosecutor for this case is being escorted from prison as we speak. Well, they couldn't get him here on time? What the hell, man? Wait, is he gonna show up in like shackles or some shit with like an armed guard? Prison? Oh, yes, of course. I almost forgot that he's currently serving time. This would never fucking fly, ever. Where's Judge Judy, man? She would put the smack down on this so hard. Well, this is a farce. This is just a circus. How the hell would this ever be allowed? Oh, my God. Yup, Prosecutor Blackquill's an inmate. What? Whoa. But even a convicted murderer still got a job to do and duties to perform. Huh? Whoa, 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 what? You're... You're shitting me. Long hair. Long dark hair. <laughs> dark eyes. Dark face. Bad but Why do these games do this to me? No, 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 you can't do this. Why do these games- Murdered someone? Who the fuck cares? It's all out the window, isn't it? No, 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 you can't do this to me, game. You can't know what I like. I have to have a lay down. No, this is ridiculous. This, this, this game is gonna call me out, isn't it? Every freaking time this happens. Who's that with his back to us over there? Who do you think it is, Apollo? Who's, who else is gonna sit over there? <laughs> That's him. I'm sure of it. Prosecutor Blackwell. Uh, uh, is the prosecution ready? Hello? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck is that in your mouth, boy? What's that? You can't vape in here. Ew, ew, oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Uh, oh, oh, no, I like him already. 
Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, guys, I'm sorry for how I am. What is that in his mouth, though? What kind of voice? What kind of voice? Um. Enough jabbering. Get on with it already. Uh, of course. Forgive me. Well, clearly something. I'm I, I, looking at him. I'm thinking something between Keo and Gundam from Danganronpa. Give me, give me a hot few seconds with him to suss that out. Why are all the people related to this case so scary? Fulbright's not scary. He's fine. He's just a little animated. Whoa, 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 oh, you do still have chains on. Okay, I'm into that. Don't worry about, wait, what? Well, uh, what's the matter? What? Must we continue to fritter away time like this? It's all right there in the indictment. An opening statement would be pointless. What? All right, you know what? Give me a second to listen to this. Cause the theme song sometimes dictates how I feel about their voice. What the- what is going on with the skunk motherfucker? Oh no, okay. Oh, I like it though. Pointless? Uh, well... Looks like the cat, or in this case, the prosecutor has the judge's tongue. I can't pin this music. I mean, obviously, it's- it's very... Oh, I really like it though. Would it be too prudent to give him the typical... He might be bad, so we're giving him some kind of British slash UK accent. I don't know. God, I just don't know. Tell me in the comments what you reckon. But, 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 we need an opening statement as an overview of the case at hand. <laughs> well, then your baldness, if it's so very important, why don't you do the honors? See, he's gonna get into Edgeworth territory, but he's different from Edgeworth. Who? <laughs> me? You can't just write the rules in here, even if you are disgustingly attractive. Oh, wait a minute. No, I don't think so, though. There's a term for people who whine and fuss about how they need silly, useless things. And then decide they no longer want them once it's theirs. A selfish old fool. Huh? Wait, now you're gonna insult him? Man, Judge, you need to stand up for yourself, man. Have some backbone, man. Grow some hair. Wait. Was that the prosecution's opening statement? I don't know what's happening. I'm blinded. This is ridiculous, this. <laughs> Old daughter says you are a plague upon the young. I pity your poor grandchildren, or is it great-grandchildren? Well, that's rude. You know, he could strike you down for freaking a man. But come on, can't you, like, hold him in contempt? All these years, I thought the opening statement was the prosecutor's chef. It is! What are you talking about? But I suppose I could give it a try. It might be a nice change of pace. What? Is everyone just gonna bend to his will? Oh, what the hell, man? What? He actually fell for it? Oh, well, that must have been the power of suggestion Mr. Wright was talking about. What is this, like, the fucking force? He's gonna have, like, his power over the weak-minded. Oh, no. It's like some kind of hypno kink or something. Never mind what I just said. The opening statement. Uh. Hmm, let's see here. The victim was one Rex QB, alderman of Nine Tails Vale. And the defendant, Damien Tenma, mayor of Tenma Town, is accused of his murder. And why, pray tell, was the mayor arrested? His prints were on the murder weapon. Plus, he had a motive the elimination of the biggest roadblock to the municipal merger. The caretaker and the secretary, other potential suspects, both have alibis. And his daughter, who was also in the vicinity at the time of the incident, has no motive. So, in a nutshell... I'd have to say the charges against the defendant are incontrovertible. I mean, you're just making him do all that work for you? I mean, ain't you got a job to do? Stop being lazy. Bravo, your baldness. Your years of experience shine bright like your head. Oh. Ho ho ho, flattery will get you everywhere. What the fuck is this bullshit, man? No, I'm calling Judge Judy. Man, this whole thing is a farce. He's playing Simon Says with the judge. What do we do? Moving right along, let's hear from our first witness for today, Detective Fulbright. Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. 
Witness, please state your name and occupation. I am the detective assigned to this case. Bobby Fulbright. You don't need to show that every time. That, that literally we know who you are. Oh, and I'll also be keeping tabs on old Blackwell here. I also heard you would provide protection if it ever came to that. Oh, I bet he's not happy about that. <laughs> it would seem that I have been sorely underestimated. Listen, who knows? Wait, who's protecting who from what? I don't know anymore, dude. I don't know what's happening here. Wait, they, they, wait, wait. I didn't even see what he said. I was too busy staring at the... I, I'm very distracted. Fool bright. Save your platitudes for funerals. Get on with your statement. Whatever he just said, they didn't have a pause for it, so I couldn't even look. Oh, man. What did he say? I'll have to go back and look. Well, he just made fun of him. Ha ha ha, that's the spirit. Justice must be swift and true. I see it in your eyes. There is hope for your rehabilitation and return to society. I'm sure society can't wait. Well, I mean, you know, at least for his looks. Probably not much else. But listen, I'm shallow. We've done this, we've, 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 we've been to this rodeo before. <laughs> I'm not ashamed, I know who I am. I will never give up on you. Oh, Prosecutor Blackwell doesn't seem to intimidate Detective Fulbright. Well, you know what they say, ignorance is bliss. Oh, so that's why Detective Fulbright was assigned to Blackwell. He's so oblivious. That could be a reason. Now let's have your first statement, Detective Fulbright. You got it, but first I'd like to say to the defense that justice will ultimately prevail. You don't have to say that to me, dude. Oh my, I can't I can only imagine how his testimony's gonna go. About the murder, let's have it. Alderman Kubi was murdered with a spear that had been on the wall. The fingerprints of the defendant Damien Tema were found on the murder weapon. At the time, Alderman Kyubi was asleep from a drug he unwittingly ingested. Mayor Tenma attacked his helpless victim, impaling him like a human shish kebab. But the sudden pain jolted the victim awake and he grabbed a statue and struck back. Wait, what? Is this the first we're hearing about the sleeping thing? Because I don't remember hearing about that, unless I forgot. Alderman Kyubi had been slipped some kind of sleep-inducing drug? Do we have the autopsy on that? I don't think we have that yet. That's right, the accused was scared because the alderman was a former pro wrestler. So he slipped him a drug to make sure he'd be out cold and defenseless. Here's the autopsy report to prove it. Thank you. Gonna need that. Okay, the autopsy report. Cause of death, stabbed with a spear. Estimated time of death is around 3.20 p.m. The victim had been in a drug-induced slumber. Well, there it is. So I guess we can't refute that. Huh, it just doesn't seem right, though. And the victim managed to attack his attacker despite being impaled by a spear? That sounds almost superhuman. Is it even possible? Well, he was a former pro wrestler, after all. That spear was probably nothing more than a mosquito bite to him. Objection! Apollo, scream it out, boy. Man, I, I like his objection. It sounds good. Not so fast. Don't try to brush it all off by saying the alderman had been a pro wrestler. Do you really expect us to believe that he could fight back after being skewered by a spear? <laughs> Never heard of the incredible feats of which man is capable of in a pinch, have you? Like the samurai of yore, wrestlers can battle through intense pain. It sharpens their senses. I used to talk about it with a former wrestler I met in the clink. No one cares about your frickin' sex prison escapades, sir. Wait, maybe I do. But not right now, though. Because I'm already distracted by you. I don't know. Still sounds a little far-fetched. Does it now? Then perhaps we should test the theory on you with the edge of my blade, sir. What do you mean? Wait, how do you even- Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. No one's giving you a weapon. Surely you don't have one on you. I didn't sign up for this. Oh my god, Apollo's face. Jeez, you don't have a weapon, sir. <laughs> and so your life is spared for now. What are you playing like pretend samurai over here? What is with you? Anyway, I hate that you're so attractive. It's really pissing me off, actually. Please let those shackles be made of titanium. I don't want to die. I mean, you're fine. 
Haha, <laughs> my investigations are as thorough as they are foolproof, or my name isn't Fulbright. I vow to resign immediately if I ever make a false arrest. Oh, I see. The accused prince were on the weapon, and he's the one person without an alibi. Quite decisive evidence, wouldn't you agree, your baldness? Hmm. The defendant is sounding guiltier by the minute. Man, stop that nonsense. What the fuck? And the judge is simping for him hardcore. What are we gonna do? He has the judge leaning towards a guilty verdict and the trial's just barely begun. Yeah, what do we do? <laughs> What's more, a curious rumor about the accused is making the rounds. They say that he seeks the merger for the purpose of freeing Tenmataro from his imprisonment. So you heard that too, huh? Truth be told, I can think of no real reason to show interest in that backwards bird. Perhaps he's a complete nutter and really does seek to release an imaginary demon. Either way, he's raven mad and more than capable of murdering the Alderman. And there's a strange one, all right. I heard he went to a blood drive, but instead of donating, he tried to make a withdrawal. What? Shut up. And everyone shut up in here. Order. There'll be no gossiping in my court. Your baldness, please take a gander at those charms plastered across his cranium. I hear they're meant to keep him safe from possession by the demon Tenmataro. Then again... I'm, I'm, I'm wavering on what kind of accent I should give him. Perhaps he's already under the demon's spell. What is this nonsense here? What is this? Sir, this is not a samurai movie. This is not Okami. This is not any of that shit. Now, you can't do that in here. Behold. The lunatic appears poised to lunge at you at any moment. He's got his arms behind his back. What are you talking about? Oh. Uh. Hold it! Yeah, Athena, stop this. The rumors and quirks of Mayor Tenma have no relevance to this case. Besides, those charms on his head, they're, they're just a fashion statement, I think. Think. Hmm. Come to think of it, such things don't seem relevant to the case, do they? Good job, Athena. Just because the judge is simping hard for that dude doesn't mean that we can't turn him around with young ladies, because we can, all right? That's our- <laughs> that's the power we've got. The prosecution will refrain from dragging our client's reputation through the mud. Get him, Athena. Oh, what a dreadfully fearsome lass we have here. Yeah. He's already said bugger and last, so I am leaning towards giving him something here. UK-ish. We'll just have to steer him away from Edgeworth is all. I think I can do it. Oh, thanks for that lifeline, Athena. Careful, Apollo. He has the judge dancing in the palm of his hand. Ew, I don't want to think about that. <laughs> the power suggestion is one of the more powerful tools in Simon Blackwell's arsenal. He's trying to manipulate everyone's impressions to suit his objectives. Yeah, I can see that now. I mean, I can see why it would work, too. This guy is really bad news. In any case, it seems the victim did manage to defend himself despite being impaled. Oh no, can we not put any out-of-context screenshots about being impaled today, please? We're gonna get them, though, I bet. What sort of weapon did he use against his attacker? None other than this statue right here. It appears to be a statue of two strange creatures left in battle. Two yokai to be exact. One on one side is nine-tailed fox and on the other ten mataro. Quite interesting, if you think about it. It's as though this very case were rendered in art. Oh, it's updated. Fox and demon statue, the weapon used to bludgeon the mare. The mare's blood was found on it, but no prints could be lifted. Oh, okay. All right. So that's different. We'll have to remember that it is. Mr. Justice, you may proceed with your cross-examination. You know what I think? If we're gonna start a cross-examination now, I don't wanna stop the video in the middle of that for sure. So let's stop right here. And then when we get to the next episode, we will start the cross-examination and see what we can find out about this. I'm not gonna let that guy intimidate me as gorgeous and definitely my type as he is. I'm on to you, game. I'm gonna try to be strong. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am, and I will see you soon in the next episode. Toodaloo!